And now I would like to introduce our 2012 valedictorian, San Juanita Rodriguez. San Juanita, a native of San Antonio, has attended SAISD schools for all of her 12 academic years. She is a well-rounded student who strives for her very best in all that she does. Her dedication to her academics and extracurricular activity has led her to be the role model and extraordinary leader that she is. She has achieved the titles of Battalion Commander for the JROTC, Undarmed Drill Team Commander, National Honor Society President, and much more. As valedictorian of her class, she certainly has earned this most prestigious title. San Juanita plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and plans to major in business. Dr. Perez will join me in presenting San Juanita Rodriguez, her valedictorian medal. Good afternoon and welcome, board member Patty Radel, distinguished board members, Superintendent Perez, parents, faculty, and fellow graduates. We were all put on this earth for a purpose. From this point on, some of us will let life take us where it pleases, and some of us will drive our lives into the direction we seek. High school has been the place where we learned what we are capable of. Now it's time to put ourselves to the test. My freshman year, I didn't think I'd be standing up here as your 2012 valedictorian. Some of you may know me as the girl with the crazy eye makeup, which was my freedom of expression. Some of you knew me as the girl with all the ribbons in JROTC, which was the organization that made me a leader. Most of you just knew me as Farm. I'm not a Facebook status, you don't have to like me. I may have appeared unapproachable or quiet, but that is not me at all. I did not converse with many people because it is a little difficult for me to invite new people into my life. Plus, I can be a little too much to handle sometimes. It is easy to dream big, but not easy to obtain it. I will tell each and every one of you that no goal is stupid or unattainable. You must attempt to make your dreams reality. I still dream about standing in the ring as a professional wrestler. As long as I try, I will have achieved something. Don't worry, top 10, I'll hook you up with some free tickets. <laughs> I see a bright future for myself. My high school experience has taught me a lot about who I really am. I encourage all of you to take your high school experience as a lesson well learned and use it to guide yourself through this new journey we are about to face. The beginning of senior year was the lowest point in my life so far. I struggled with internal conflict and battled with my negative thoughts. It felt as if I couldn't go on any longer. I would look at myself and feel malcontent with who I was. I honestly hated myself. Just when I thought it was the end, I saw the diminutive light at the end of the tunnel. I reached for it and found my faith that I once stowed away. I found the hope that dwelled within me. I picked myself up from the fall and came back stronger. I took another good look at myself and I loved what I saw. I urge all of you to take a good look at yourselves. Do you like what you see? Are you proud of who you are? Seniors, I encourage you to evaluate the person you are now and vanish away all the negative intentions and thoughts in your mind. To be successful in this world, we must be confident, be willing to take risks, and be determined. If you are ever challenged with an obstacle, do not give up on yourself. If you desire something, work to attain it. Otherwise, you'll always be wondering, what if? All my accomplishments, all my rewards were not only given to me, were not given to me, but earned. I couldn't have done it alone, of course. I thank my mother for her support. Mom, if you hadn't pushed me a little, I wouldn't be standing here. 
Do not blame yourself for what I went through because you saved me. Dad, you shaped me into the amazing leader I turned out to be. You were always my role model. We may not agree on everything, but if we did, life would be boring. To my brother, Anthony, I thank you for being there for me. It's sad that I'm leaving because I feel like we barely got to know each other this year. Now I've realized you're my best friend. If you ever need anything, I'll always be here for you. I also thank all my brilliant teachers and organizations I was a part of because they made me realize my full potential. I thank all my family, friends, and cadets for supporting me through everything. To the JROTC, I command you to stay motivated and downright dedicated throughout these upcoming years. Continue to stay strong. I see life as a battlefield. We must all fight for a victory. It is important to keep your head up, your faith high, and your heart strong. There are the few in society that waste their lives and do not make it. I refuse to be another casualty in this society. We will all fight to the finish without surrender. What I've noticed about the senior class of 2012 is that we hold the value of determination to the highest. We are a very successful and admirable group of students. We do not only study hard, but still have fun as we are young, wild, and free. There is no stopping us as we charge through life with our mental weaponry and internal strength. I wish the best of luck to the class of 2012 and all our future endeavors. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our salutatorian, George Marin. Over the last four years, the salutatorian of the class of 2012 has been involved and has had achievements in more than just academics. George has participated in several organizations at Lanier High School and has held leadership positions in many of these organizations. He is the president of National Technical Honor Society, sergeant at arms for the National Honor Society, took part in the graphic design chapter of Skills USA, and played varsity tennis. This, however, does not tell the whole story of who he is. George has had a, found a great pleasure in law, crime solving, and finance. He hopes to enter the FBI white collar crime department after he graduates from St. Edwards University with a bachelor's in finance. I present George Marin, who will now receive his salutatorian medal from Dr. Perez and Mr. Elizondo. Welcome, students, faculty, family, and friends. It is a great privilege to be able to speak at our graduation today. Let me start out by saying that life is all about choices. Some of these choices are major ones and only occur a few times within one's life. Choices such as, which college will I attend? Then there are the choices you have to make daily, like, what should I do today? I have found that it is these daily choices that have shaped my life the most. As my days at Lanier became numbered, I began to ask myself, what do you regret the most from these last four years? I thought and thought and thought about this question and decided I do not tr truly regret any of my actions or mistakes. For it is these experiences that have made me the person that stands here today. Every single choice I have made, whether good or bad, has been a building stone for the path I am currently traveling. A path which has introduced me to many different people and experiences. If I were to go back and correct or change one of the choices I have made, 
it is quite possible my life will be completely different. Whether I will lose a person that has made a major impact on me or never learning a necessary lesson. For example, I never thought about attending Lanier. In fact, if you were to go back and ask my eighth grade self my plans for high school, without a doubt, I would tell you that I was attending Burbank. However, when it came time to apply for the magnet programs, numerous events occurred that led me to lean towards Lanier. I could ask myself, what if you had gone to Burbank? How would your life be different? But why would I? Lanier has given me some of the most significant people in my life. People who I cannot possibly imagine my life without. People who have helped me throughout these last four years. These individuals have been there when a fork in the road has occurred, when I have entered low times, which left me in self-doubt, and have made the good times memorable. Many of these people include the staff at Lanier High School. I know in my heart, if it were not for the love, support, and efforts of Mr. Veltri, Ms. Escobedo, Mr. Mendoza, and Mr. Valdez, I would not be in the position I am currently in. I would have never realized that there is an entire world waiting to be explored. If it were not for them, I would probably have never summed, settled, I would probably have settled for less and might have never summed up the courage to set my sights as high as I have. In fact, up into my junior year, I always thought I would attend a university in San Antonio. This idea was ingrained within my head until I had several conversations with Ms. Escobedo my tennis coach at the time. She explained her college experiences and the adventures one encounters when beginning a new life in a new city. Those conversations ran through my head when it came time to choose which university I would attend. These four people have had the greatest influence on me this past year or two. These four people taught me that success is not gaining what one desires. Rather, success is having the ability to desire, that every, that every journey has a first step, and that first step is to have a want. If that want is an education, better lifestyle, or perhaps even a physical object, you must first want it. There is no possible combination of words that I could put together to show all my gratitude to these people. So let me keep it short and simple. Thank you. And of course, I would not have reached here without my family. I would like to thank my mother for putting up with me, even though I'm not the easiest person to deal with at times, for always supporting my decisions, even when she did not quite agree with them. My father for always being in my life and teaching me all he could. Also, my three siblings for pushing me to go to school. For if I had the choice between going home and spending the entire time with them, or staying at school. I usually chose to stay at school. But in all seriousness, their presence has caused me to become a better person, to be a better role model for them, always pushing me to succeed, not for my benefit, but for theirs. So they can see anyone can live their dreams. Finally, thank you to my classmates. I would like to thank you for making these past four years interesting and memorable. I can honestly say, whether it being drama, jokes, or disagreements, life at Lanier was never dull. I would now like to leave you with an old Irish toast, recently made famous by Ombre Graham. May your neighbors respect you, troubles neglect you. <sighs> Angels protect you and heaven accept you. Thank you very much.